So I've started arranging this song into scenes. So you can see all the way, you've got these four scenes kind of laid out. And one of the first things I'm gonna show you guys how to do is overdubbing, which is basically when you're inserting notes on top of other notes. So I've got this new clip and we can see we have all of our drum rack samples on the left. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start playing notes in real time on top of each other in this existing clip rather than having to draw all the notes by hand, which could take forever. Um, so I'm just gonna start with a blank clip and I continue to add ideas on top of it. So let's launch the scene and hear what it sounds like. And now I'm just gonna play around on until I kind of find something that sounds right that fits the song. So maybe I'll duplicate the loop in the notes box to make it longer. And I'm like, cool. All right, so now I can jot down ideas and record it into this clip now that I have an idea of what it should sound like. You'll notice this clip, um, when it's launched, that yellow arrow is gonna turn red, which means anything I do on this track is gonna be recorded in real time on this clip. So let's check it out. So I turn on the session record button right here, and I'll hit play. And now I can quantize it by choosing Command U, which is the shortcut, which will lock in the timing of the notes. Let's throw down some hi-hats. The session record button allows us to record anything else, not just the notes, but whatever else we want to for this track and record that into the clip to play those parameters back specific to this track. So I can send um, effects to my return tracks using the send knobs. And so for example, I can send my send A and my send B to the return tracks to give an effect for this track, whatever is being played in the clip. So let's go ahead and use the session record button and I'll record automation into this clip with the sends. You notice now it'll do it automatically. And there will be two little red dots right here and you'll notice those red dots are telling us that there's automation for those parameters inside Ableton on this track. So I could do anything. I could turn the track on or off by muting it. I could play with the volume as the clip is being played using the session record button. So it's a really powerful way of creating movement and recording that into individual clips on a track. I can even add effects to the device view down here and mess with those parameters with the session record button to get some cool effects going on for this track specific to a clip. So in the audio effects folder, you can find some cool effects. I'm gonna grab this preset of what's called a beat repeat. It's in the audio effects folder and I'm gonna play with the session record button and automate certain parameters in this. Notice how I actually turned the device on and off. In the top left corner up here, you can turn on or off any device in Ableton and it'll record that into the clip. And you'll see there's a little red dot there. If I want to remove any automation that I created on a track, um, you can remove it just by simply right clicking on that parameter and choosing delete automation. It'll go back to its default state, so it'll go away and it won't be played anymore. And this is where I left off in the beginning. So using the session record button is an amazing way to do automation in clips and automation is a fantastic way for creating movement throughout the song and making things sound interesting, especially with like transitions between different parts of the song in scenes and having just different things being triggered that are specific to a clip on track.